Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk briefly about correlation. So there is a number that we'll be computing with the software. It's called R, which stands for the Linear Correlation Coefficient. And this is a number that's always between negative 1 and 1. The software will compute this for us, but let me explain what it is so you have a deeper understanding. So let's say we have the y-axis, and let's say we have the x-axis, so x and y. And then let's say you have a bunch of dots, x-y pairs. So recall, this is called a scatter plot. So if you have a bunch of x-y pairs, it's called a scatter plot. Lots of pretty little dots. And then we could draw a line that comes as close as possible to as many of these points as possible. This line, in this case, has a positive slope. So in this case, the value of r is probably going to be positive. The dots are really close to the line. So in this case, r is close to 1. So the closer r is to 1, the closer the dots are to the line. And conversely, the closer the dots are to the line, the closer r is to 1. So the closer you are to 1, the better the pattern. In this case, we have a straight line pattern, and so we say we have positive linear correlation. Let's look at another example. So say we have the y-axis, and then here we have the x-axis. And again, we have some, some dots, so little yellow dots. And then we have our line. The line comes as close as possible to as many points as possible. This line now has a negative slope. So in this case, r is less than 0. Because the dots are really close to the line, r is probably close to negative 1. The closer it is to negative 1, the better the pattern. In this case, we have what's called negative linear correlation. Sometimes the number of dots also matters. Let's look at this example. Say we have the y-axis and the x-axis. There's x, there's y. Forgot to label this one. And then here's x and here's y. Okay. Let's look at a dot, a dot, a dot, and then dot, 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 dot. So in both cases, it seems we have a straight line pattern. So in both cases, we have positive linear correlation. The question is, in which case do we have better positive linear correlation? In which case is the correlation definitely stronger? Well, that would be in this case here. And the reason is we have more dots. So not only does the proximity of the dots to the line matter, but the number of dots also matters. So in order to quantify that mathematically, we use something called a critical value. So there are a few steps that you have to follow in order to determine whether or not you have a strong straight line pattern. So let me give you those steps. So steps to determine. And when we say we have a straight line pattern, we say R is significant. It's the same thing. So steps to determine if R is significant. So if someone says, hey, R is significant, that means that there is a straight line pattern. So the first thing you have to do is compute R. So step one, compute R. We're going to use software to compute R. Okay, It's pretty easy. It's actually really, really simple. Uh, so we plug everything into StatCrunch, hit a button, and it gives us R. Really, really easy. Step two, we have to look at what's called the critical value. So we have to find the critical value. So in the homework, uh, I'll show you how to do this. I'll show you how to find the critical value. There's a table. It's really, really easy. You just click the table, and you can find it in there. If 
r is bigger than the critical value. Now, sometimes r is negative, so we have to make sure it's positive, so we have to put absolute values around it. So if r is bigger than the number in the table, which is the critical value, right? The number in the table is the critical value. So if r is bigger than the critical value, then yes. Yes, r is significant. You have a straight line pattern, right? Otherwise, no. So otherwise, no. Let's do a simple example so you see how it works. Let's say, let's say someone tells you that r is 0.817 and that the critical value is 0.245. In this case, r is bigger, so the answer is yes. There is a straight line pattern. r is significant. If instead r was 0.25 and the critical value was 0 0.40, in this case r is not bigger, so the answer would be no. So if it's bigger, it's yes. If it's bigger, it's yes. Most of the time, it's yes. I always say if you ever have to guess, just guess yes. So I hope this video has helped. Uh, in the problems that follow, you'll see multiple examples of computing r, finding the critical value, and then determining whether or not there is a straight line pattern. That's it.